Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica. Well, below me is our base. And we've had many suggestions for names. Right now it's the sinking house because it's basically flooded. Now I have loads of, well, two for now, solar panels built up there. Show you inside. Uh, kind of flooded. These pipes are kind of useful though because I can do this and oxygenate. But my structural integrity is apparently buggered because I have loads of holes. But I do have a map showing me stuff. I'm not entirely sure what all the stuff is, but we'll go with that. But we have got, ooh, hello. Things that have been found. A wreck. It's on camera too. So I am going to, I think, go over towards that and see what's going on. So we'll swim, 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 swim. In fact, first off, I think we need to go back to our only functioning safe habitat up here. Because we have a radio message incoming. So we're going to listen to the radio. We'll come back to the base later. We've had loads of good ideas, like uh, the cat house, which I don't think I'll be going with for some reason. I don't know why, but it just sounds wrong. Let's see what the message is. Life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six ah. out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. So where is six? Let's go up, shall we? Dun 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 dun. dun. Life pod seventeen. I'm guessing the other one's that way somewhere. No, I don't see any other beacons. That's a problem. What blueprints do we have now? We have quite a few actually. We can cook stuff. But I've nowhere to cook it. Could do with making a. I could make a rebreather. That could be an actual plan. Fabricator. Equipment. This should help us go deeper for longer. Yep, this should be perfect. Uh, buttons. Press the right button. We have a rebreather. Awesome. What else can we make while we're here? Nothing that I need right now. Well, I'll need some mushrooms and copper because I'll need a battery at some point soon. Let's go check things out. So, we are going to head towards Life Pod 17. There should be some interesting things going on here. And we'll look for this cave system that it's under attack from. I believe there's also some decent wreckage over there, so we'll have a scooch through the debris and find out what we've got. First, I'm going down this hole. Past all the jellyfish doodars, which are probably going to stab me in the face. Ooh, silver ore. That's all the stuff. Ah, there's something trying to follow me. On the subject of things trying to find me, I have heard, though, that there are some big jump scares in this game. So, we're going to have a look at what we find. Also, my god, look at this thing. What is this? I'm sure some of you all know what it is already. But with me being new to this game, it is a total mystery. But this bad boy looks pretty cool. Looks to be alive somehow. It's growing on it. We'll surface, grab some O2, and then we'll go back and look at our big floating log friend. We 
We shall call him Submerged Island Bob. Hello, Bob. Ah. Something sounds angry. Hello, Bob. What do you have on you? Oh, there's a... Go away! Go away! Go away! Oh, barnacles contain stuff. Also, wow, that's a big rag. This is moving, so it's kind of hard to locate the thing. Hello, Bob. Oh, hello. Bob looks angry. Oh, it's Stabby McStabberson. Screw you! Go away! Bob is my friend. You can't have him. I protect you, Bob. I will protect you forever. All right, oxygen, then deep we go. Und dann wir go. Where's that wreck gone? There it is. Let's have a look at the wreck. Grab a quick barnacle off Bob while we're here. Thank you, Bob, for your copper ore. So this looks like a piece of the Aurora. It doesn't look in particularly great condition. But how would it be? We crashed. So we should be better on oxygen the deeper we go. And I know there's sand shark things around here. No, don't do that. You know what? I'm going to self-scan because I haven't scanned myself recently. Make sure you always scan yourself. It's good for your health. That's the fire kitten safety message for today. Oh, we have a way in here. Oh. We're scanning a desk. New blueprint acquired. And a bench. New a PDA. Acquired. Integrating new PDA battery data. charger. Useful. There's a whole interior of the ship here. You know what? I need to go back outside, surface, and grab some O2. And then we can explore a little further. I just don't want to get myself trapped down there with only 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. 30 seconds. But we get to explore a wreck. I love how you must stop at the surface like you've just stood on a ledge. Alright, wreck diving in Subnautica. What can we find? Get the torch out. I need to get some more batteries, that's a thing. So we've got some copper ore. We need some of the... I believe it's the... Fungus, or whatever it is. Ah, another part of the battery charger, so we can recharge batteries. That would be a useful tip to have. And once we find pod 8, I believe, we can actually get some lithium and we can start to... ...fix our pods. What is in here? Anything useful? I'm seeing nothing worth scanning. Oh, there was this. Oh, a floodlight. That could be useful. This whole thing seems a little bit... Ah. That's the rest of our scanner. 
who I think we already scanned the rest of that that was necessary. It feels so weird being in this spaceship underwater. What is over here? Oh, there is the possibility to get so lost inside this wreck. You know what? I need to go back out because we're running low on oxygen. And it's time to GTFO. Best not get stuck in here. There we go. Surface, surface, surface. Blow the tanks. We're swimming. We're swimming. We're swimming. We're swimming. And we just made that, so it's a good choice to go back. Alright, so it's straight back down. We'll go fast to where we last were. Maybe find a way out at the far side of the ship. But that room looked incredible to explore, so I'd like to get back in there. As quickly as possible. That's not the way. This is the way. I think I know the way. My god, kill me. That's horrendous humour. So we're along here. Oh, there seems to be a lot of cool stuff. Prawn suit. I saw something scannable. What else is up here? Preparing the ah. water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Okay, so what else is over here? Use a repair tool. No, that's the construction tool. What else have I got here? Do I have my repair tool on me? That is not a repair tool. I want to use this. Uh, there we go. Ah, we have a way out. So I need to get back up to the top here. We'll get back in at the bow section. But we gotta go. We have a way through the ship now, so that's good. We'll see if we can explore a little bit more once we get back down, but just want to make sure we stay oxygenated, because not dying is one of my favourite pastimes, and I'd very much like to continue that trend. So you used to get disorientated when you're inside these wrecks. I mean, it must be amazing to wreck dive in real life. I mean, just the opportunity to do this in a video game is so much fun. Um, it's different, you know? It's unusual. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a... Ah. Need to do the part of this. What am I dropping? Alright, oh, I'm dropping this. This. I don't need this in this mode. Or this. And you know what? I found plenty of those before. Chuck some titanium out. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Don't need any more water. Ah. People's loved ones and notes in the lockers. This adds a real personal touch to a game that's a little bit lonely, if anything. You're on your own in this wild world, and all of a sudden, it just feels a bit more human. When you have so many considerations. Okay, so there's this door here. Have I been in here? I have been in here. 45 seconds. I've been dallying around too long. Now you see how easy it is to get lost. So we'll blow ballast tanks again. We'll get back up to the surface. And we will... Check out that other room in the lower level we didn't look at. Before we look around outside. If I was sensible, I'd run some pipes down here so I could oxygenate, but 
I don't have them to hand. And that would be nice and convenient, wouldn't it? So. Let's get ourselves back inside and try and remember the direction we took. Okay, so we went this way. What's this? Nope, don't need that. It's so disorientating. Wow, that's super broken. And whatever it is outside seems angry. This is part of the fraud. I guess I have to find quite a few of those. Did I come this way before? Yes, I did. Am I sure I came this way? I don't think I did. I've got to go. And my lights are out. No, I did come this way. Uh... Okay, I'm starting to panic a little bit. I can't find a way out. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm stuck here. I think I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed. 30 seconds. Yep, 30 seconds. And I can see air, but I can't find a way out. And I'm completely lost. I'm turned around here I can't even see a way out I'm gonna die this isn't good I have gotten this is one of the dangers of wreck diving is a little disorientation which apparently has happened to me right now because yeah not good Oh, because of the game mode we're playing, we do come back to life, so we've lost quite a few bits there. Kept our tools, thankfully, but we lost a lot of the resources we collected, which isn't great at all. We may want to head back to that wreck at some point, but that is not good. Like I said, this is one of the dangers of wreck diving. You can end up disorientated and lost, and well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye.